Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Colonial Charter Mod, the town of Banished. Or, what? Dunkertown. In the, in the game of Banished. So, we've been playing for a long time now on Speed 2. And I feel like the town is kind of... kind of reached an equilibrium point, like where the main thing we're waiting for now is just kind of time to pass so that we can get raw materials and get our, get our overall population educated. Uh, when we look at the overview, we're up to 85% educated now. And I'm, I'm actually willing to go to speed 5. I'm not going to go to 10x, but this is going to be crazy. Watch how fast they start running. Whoa! So yeah. We're going to play on speed 5 from now on, I think. Because I don't want to wait, like, five videos for them to build this damn road. That's the main thing we're waiting on, is just like, okay, gather the stone, build the road. Although... The rain... Does the rain fall faster? No. Rain falls about the same speed. Now everyone's gonna be commenting like, Oh my gosh, I can't believe you did that! Or they're gonna say, Why didn't you do this earlier? Oh my god, speed 2 was too slow! That's what they're gonna do. Part of the reason why I played on speed 2 in the beginning was because I, I didn't remember how to play. And I didn't want it to be stupendously obvious. But now that we're a little bit further in, I've kind of been playing a bit, and I remember a fair bit how to play this game, so... Of course, playing on a faster speed means that the problems get multiplied as well. If you have, like, a food shortage or a firewood shortage, you're gonna hit that problem a lot faster. Which means we'll probably hit those problems, because I'll not notice. Until it's too late. But the number one thing that we will not go back on is we are not accepting nomads in Dunkertown. Dunkertown is for inbreeding only. Cliver has become an adult. You know, I'm kind of concerned Demon's going to die soon. He's already 55. He's lived a long life. Okay, our shore house is done. Got eight laborers. Let's go ahead and get one guy getting... Sand, yes. So that we can get you making glass, so that we can finish our large residence. Still need more stone, but that's the main thing we've got these guys working on, is a little bit of trees, still, still a few more trees to chop down, and then stone, and there's tons of stone here. So we'll designate some more stone gathering. There's a lot of iron and a lot of stone in this area. Of course, there's also quite a bit over here as well. I never really gathered all of it. Can they path right over this? I think they can just walk over that. I don't even think you need a bridge. Nope, never mind. You can't. You need a bridge. Health is a little bit lower than I'd like. But we've got the resources in the trading post necessary to pick up some, some grains at some point. 31 birdies. Still no available resources. Here comes a trade ship. Have you not gathered any sand yet? Where's our worker? Ah, here you go. It's Ernie! I need you to take sand. This person can't pick up sand from the ground. It's gotta come from over here. Alright, you brought wool coats. Yeah, I guess we'll buy those. I mean, whatever. They're not very expensive. It's like, what, 50... Be 45? I mean, we already had coats, but maybe those are warmer. We have another adult. I'm very excited to get this extra couple sets of logging camps done. 
I think though the first, the very first thing we should build is actually the houses, because then the builder will live out here where he's working, and then they'll become after they've become, after they finish the structure, and then we designate it that this is okay. We want a forester working out here. The builder will then end up becoming the forester. So just gonna build the house first. So do we want to just build wooden houses, or do we want to just like go crazy and build large residence only? I don't have any brick production right now. Got a little bit of food. Not much else going on. Got plenty of iron. Let's just build a stone house. One stone house. And we'll leave it un unpaused. We'll let them go build that. Got six jobs, ten laborers now. I feel like so much is getting done on speed 5. It's awesome. Yeah, I don't really need to designate any more of this, do I? They're already kind of doing it. We'll still tell them to collect the iron. Just cause, I mean, it is there. Oh, and you know what we should do is... We should probably put a stockpile over here. It can't be bigger than 10 by 10. Oh, there you go. 10 by 10. Actually, that one requires someone to remove something. Alright. Need more logs. The other reason why I feel like speeding the game up as well is that now that we have a population that has has risen, it's difficult to, to maintain like a kind of a connection to the people. Like, you know, when Demon dies, my last connection to the people will be gone, will be severed. Demon was my only real connection to the real world. Inbred freak demon. Why did you store coal over here? Who brought coal over here? Come to think of it, every one of these little outposts should have its own little stockpile. Let's start with the one over here that already exists. It should have a stockpile. A very small one, but... There should be one nonetheless. Even if it's just like one by four. Okay. So we can put it on the ends of the houses. Actually, I should have put a house here. Hmm. Good enough for now. Just a little tiny stockpile there, and then... I'll forget if I do it now. I'll just... Just leave the other one alone. Rylandorf... Dolph has become an adult. And we have another adult. We are really racking up the laborers now. And I'm going to keep letting them labor. I mean, we've got 2,000 food, we've got firewood, so... Having lots of labor is working well. It's working out alright. Population boom. Boom or boon? Either way. How's that large country state coming? Hey, it's being built! As, I, as we speak. The large residence is underway. We'll keep the glass worker working. Uh, I'd like to get the brick maker going again, so we'll get him started. He takes firewood and clay, though. It's really either get it's either glass or clay. Can't really 
Sorry, glass or bricks, because I'm not going to make a second shore house yet. So we'll have him make as many bricks as he can until he runs out of clay. And then he'll just go back to being a laborer. How many bits of clay do we have? Clay. 20 clay. So we can make like 20 more bricks. That'll be some. Got 46 chickens. About to get chicken meat. Might not be a bad idea to have a separate field soon, too. Just so that if they... Well, if they begin, if they become poisoned or whatever, if something bad happens to the field, they don't all die. So we should just make it 20 by 20. Wow, you can actually make it really, really big. But the largest that you're allowed to actually like do stuff with, I think, is 20 by 20. Okay, we have a merchant who has arrived. Somebody's died. You brought walnut, charky, and mutton. Well, we'll gladly pick up some some diversity. We'll buy all your walnuts. We will buy... Let's see, I've got... That's 2500 worth. Here, you can take all my firewood. I got 2,000 units to work with. If I just bought all this, I'm overpaying by half. Yep, I'll buy all your stuff. More diversity is good. I'm excited. I'm excited to get some chicken, chicken meat, some leghorn. And all of a sudden, we have 197 stone. Wow. Those laborers are getting stuff done. Tell you what. Let's go crazy. Clear the stone. And the iron. Clear it out so that it's just nothing but flat land and trees. That'll keep them busy for a while. And if they've got that much spare stone, I bet the road is either close to complete or is complete. Looks like this one's not done. Still got a, a faint transparent hue to it. But the primary road is done. To here. Probably need more builders. Alright, I'm willing to bump up builders a little bit. Since we've got so many laborers. Where do we want to stick another school? Because that's the other thing. We will need another school. So, in the last year, two guys made 1100. And the last year, one guy made 576. So it's about the same. Yeah, it really is. Very close to equal. That means that you serve no purpose, and the value um, that you gain by having it, the saved space, is not important to me. I'd much rather just have multiple ones spread out more often. Okay, um, logs, still the main issue. But the forest is trying to reclaim some of the land. Those trees are immune to everything.
Let's just keep those laborers working. Looks like our road is... Is that done? It looks done. Doesn't have that transparent kind of hue to it, does it? I don't think it does. Cool. And we've got a builder working on the stone house. Good. Let's get another stone house going up. On the other side. And we'll put the second stockpile right next to it. Nice. Very excited for this builder to get done, because this means this thing will come online very quickly. So then the builder can just live here. They've got to travel so far right now. To actually get that thing started. How far they have to work from. Way the hell over there. It's a long walk. Yep, most of them are using the road. And the house is coming. Come on, try to get it done before winter. And then I can actually turn on the Forester's Lodge here and you can just work. Work from right here. Nice. Now we got a gatherer and a builder. I have a feeling that the, the builder is going to probably... If two builders get assigned to this stone house, they'll probably both become builders. I find it hard to believe that you would maintain that gathering job way over there. I don't think you're going to do that. That should update soon, I bet. I don't know how often they, like, check jobs, but... My guess is that they were living together over there, and then they moved because there's a new house open. And the next time that they decide... Yep, there we go. Now they're both builders, because that's the closest relevant job. So now we got two people who live right next to this with resources, pretty much most of them, right there. Laborers will bring them the raw material, but the builders just live right here. So they don't have to worry about getting cold. We'll just come over here and they'll... You know, get her done. Question is, should we actually have a woodcutter in each one of these little compounds? These little tiny compounds are stupidly efficient at providing food, basic food, basic wood. And it's good. Chicken, it's what's for dinner. <laughs> so now every time it gets to 51, we get to murder a chicken. I'm going to appoint a second person as a uh, herdsman before I forget, so that when this thing opens up, we split them. We'll have two people doing that job. For now, they'll just continue working as a laborer. So yeah, like this little compound, I like it. It's fairly symmetrical. Um, it's It'd be nice if we could fit a woodcutter in here, though. Because then they would have almost everything they need. On the other hand, we could also throw in, like, a, uh... A... Barn. St uh, storage. Where's the damn thing? Storage barn. It's fairly big, though. Could do it, though. Lost somebody. Sad times. That second house almost done? Gotta ferry the raw materials over there first. We will get the Forester's Lodge here operational first. 
And that should hopefully give us quite a bit more stone. Or uh, more more logs as they start tending this forest area as well. Well, this is, uh, I think, just the first video that I've done on Speed 5, and my gosh, it feels like we got a lot more done. Not only because we're playing on Speed 5, which is two and a half times faster, but also we just have a lot of laborers, so we're just getting a lot of actual work done. Which is good. Good. Population 50, and we've got 10 laborers. 20% of the adult labor population is laborer. Seems to be working out alright. Might even be better to have more storage. This could hold more, but it can't add wood to it because there's no no tiles available. Same thing here. They're gathering all this stone from the middle of nowhere. With no available storage tiles. So for now, let's just um, create some stockpiles. Alright, cool. Well, I'm gonna take a break here. Let me know what your thoughts are. Speed 5 versus speed 2. I feel like it's it's working out alright. And, uh... We will go from here. So, let's check one more thing before we take a break. We check our graphs. Max population. Quite a few kids. Still feel like we need more houses. Hey, the large residence is done. Cool, that looks nice. And it does have the upgrade to a manor. Provides housing for seven residents. Just even more stuff. Cool. We'll keep on working on upgrading stuff and trying to go up the house tree. Alright, thanks for watching everyone. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. See you soon.